It's Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, 11.27 a.m. We are on 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, so much. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth. <laughs> Such an one caught up to the third heaven. So in this, um, hey, um, my friend Yvonne and my son Matthias, if after... I'm gone, you're listening to this, and when I used to talk about being abducted by aliens, okay, ask the Lord to discern this for you, of course, I wasn't abducted by aliens, I was with the Lord, okay, and I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth, <laughs> How that he was ca how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Oh, imagine that. Of such an one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in mine infirmities. Hallelujah. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be. Or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to read verse 7 again. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Wow. Okay. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it may that it might not that it might depart from me. Wow. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Thank you, Jesus. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Hallelujah. I am become a fool in glorying, yet have, compel yet have compelled me, for I ought to have been commended of you, for in nothing am I behind the very chiefest apostles, though I be nothing. Truly, the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience, in signs, and wonders, and many deeds. For what is it wherein ye were inferior to other churches, except it be that I myself was not burdensome to you? Forgive me this wrong." Behold, the third time I am ready to come to you, and I will not be burdensome to you, for I seek not yours, but you, for the children ought not be <laughs> for the children ought not to lay up for the parents, but the parents for the children. Hallelujah. And I will very gladly spend and be spent for you. Though though more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. Hallelujah. <laughs> The Lord's word is really working on me. Thank you, Jesus. But be it so, I did not burden you. Nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. Did I make gain of you by any of them whom I sent unto you? I desired Titus, and with him I sent a brother. Did Titus make a gain of you? Walked we not in the same spirit? Walked we not in the same steps? Again, think ye that we excuse ourselves unto you? We speak before God in Christ, but we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. For I fear, lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I would, and that I shall be found unto you such as ye would not. Lest there be debates, envyings, wraths, strifes, 
backbitings, whisperings, swellings, tumults. And lest, when I come again, my God will humble me among you, and that I shall bewail many, many which have sinned already and have not repented of the uncleanness and fornication and lasciviousness which they have committed. Wow, that was a powerful word. Thank you, Jesus.